<laughs> oh, yeah. Hey everyone, welcome to Gamer number one. In this video, I'm going to tell you how you can boost or maximize your Yuzu emulator performance by doing simple steps. So let's get started. So step one is you need to go to emulation and then configure. Here you are going to find two options like multi-core CPU, emulation and external memory layout. You need to check or enable these two options and I'm going to tell you why you are going to enable these two options. A multi-core CPU, obviously, multi-core CPU is better than single core. That's why you are going to enable it. And another option is external memory layout. This option is basically useful for mods. If you are using mods like 60 FPS mod in any of the Yuzu games or Switch games, it is going to help you and increase your performance. And in system, you don't need to do anything here. And in CPU, you need to set the accuracy level to auto. After that, you are going to graphic setting and you are going to set the API to Vulkan to reduce the stuttering. And after that, you are going to find the three options like use this pipeline cache. Use this pipeline cache basically saves your compiled shader cache. So that's why you are going to enable it. And after that, you are going to enable use asynchronous GPU emulation. Basically, it uh, it enables dynamic resolution, so it improves performance. <coughs> Sorry. After that, you are going to enable accelerate ASTC texture decoding. It uh, it enables it improves performance by loading textures fast. After that, you are going to set the resolution according to your GPU. If you have a high-end GPU. You need you can play it on 4k or 8k uh, otherwise if you have a lower end GPU like RTX <coughs> 2050 or GTX 1060 or 1050 you need to lower the resolution accordingly and in anti-aliasing method I've turned it on to FXAA to improve the clarity otherwise it reduces the performance if you don't have a good GPU you you need to turn this off and there is also an option AMD Fiddle TFX super resolution is basically super sampling technique released by AMD it increases performance and let's go to the advanced and advanced set the accuracy level to high to remove the bugs from the graphic to flickering from the graphic you need to set it to high and after that these two options must be enabled the option number one is use asynchronous shadow building and use fast GPU time these two also improve performance now let's go to the another step another step is go to desktop and right click and then Nvidia control panel in Nvidia control panel you are going to find many 3d settings and go to program settings after going to program setting you need to add the Yuzu emulator like I did like this one you need to add user emulator after adding user emulator you need to do is all you need to do is turn off anti-aliasing options like this one turn off, turn it off turn it off all of them turn it off to improve performance turn it off and also turn off any stroppy filtering option it also improves the performance and in CUDA GPUs you need to select your GPU whatever GPU you are using currently I'm using NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070 and uh, in OpenGL rendering option you need to select your GPU again and in power management you need to select for, for maximum performance and uh, in uh, texture filtering quality you need to select high performance and in uh, thread and optimization and triple buffering you need to turn these options on if you are not turning them on then you are going to miss a lot of performance boost in your user emulator and press apply that's it i hope you have liked my video and please subscribe the channel i will catch you in another video thank you goodbye
Mario? Oh. 